Our next celebrity judge, what a talent. He's an entertainer, he's a comedian, he's an impersonator. He has a new movie out we're going to hear about. He is just top of the line, and I'm thrilled. I've known him a long time, and I'm excited to have him here. Put your hands together big time for Fred Travelina. Fred, come on out here. Yes, yes. Fred, nice to see you. Okay, thanks for having me here. It's great. Hey, you know, these girls, yeah, hot. I don't dance like that. I just do voices and stuff. We have a new president now. I'm sure you're aware of it. Don't do that yet. No. <laughs> but the last one, the last one is gone. What's happening with George? George, well, I'm back in Texas trying to figure out what the hell I did for the last eight years. <laughs> and then there's Bill Clinton. I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen. I sure love being here tonight because that whole thing about the phone call at 3 o'clock in the morning, that was true. <laughs> and one night at 3 o'clock in the morning, I was sleeping next to Hillary. I know that's hard to believe. And the phone rang at 3 o'clock, and she grabbed it. I said, but that's probably for me, I'm the president. And she says, I'm going to be president someday. Give me that phone. So she got on the phone and she said, what? 150 miles from here? How do I know? How do I know if it's raining or not? And she hung up the phone. I said, Hillary, who was that? She said, I don't know. It was someone wanting to know if the coast is clear. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm fine. Fred, you have a new movie. Tell us about it. Well, it's, it's American Carol. And uh, I play Jimmy Carter. Remember Jimmy Carter? Good to see you. And uh, so, so that was really good to do. And uh, with all this presidential politics going on, really, I think the audience should see, uh, I'm working on Barack, okay? Here, I'm going to do all the presidents up to George W. Bush in one morphing piece, okay? Jack Kennedy, Lyndon Johnson, Richard Nixon, Gerald Ford, Jimmy Carter, Ronald Reagan, George Bush Sr., Bill Clinton, which I just did, and George W. Bush my version of the inauguration speech, which they messed up on Brian. Okay, we're ready. I, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, do solemnly swear. I will faithfully execute the duties of the office of the President of the States, United you, and will, to the best of my ability, <laughs> preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States from all enemies, foreign and domestic, so help me God. That's Fred Travelina. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Join the girls over here. Now, we all know that this is Black History Month. Yes? Yes. A beautiful month, and I'm very honored to have with us tonight a beautiful actress. She is the daughter of the civil rights activist Ralph Abernathy. She's the goddaughter to Martin Luther King Jr. She would have a series on Lifetime called Any Day Now, and uh, she's gonna come out here any minute now. And her name is Donsele Abernathy. Give her a nice round of applause. So nice to have you here. Yes. I left it at home and I thought, oh my god, if I leave it, I won't be able to be the princess. I should have brought it, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> so you're really, uh, you must be feeling great because Obama won and you must have this special feeling about it. I mean, like everyone asks people, but you must that have a special. There. You were there. I was there, I was there. Tell us about it. Well, the most incredible thing happened was um, my mother got sick and lo and behold, um, Christine uh, Jean-Pierre called and she said she was calling for President Barack Obama and my mother wanted to know if Mrs. Abernathy wanted to have her daughter beside her sitting on the platform or did she want her son? And lo and behold, she wanted my, uh, the doctor. And it was like, oh my God, I was freaking out. But anyway, uh, that morning we left. There was uh, major police. Uh, they took her to the Capitol. She's calling me back. She's like, I'm sitting here with Madeleine Albright. Oh my God, Donald Trump, this is just incredible. And she was so sick. And then she was like, make sure you get a blanket. So I went and got this blanket. And then I thought, well, I'd be able to get it to my mother. Well, I wasn't able to get it to my mother. I got it to the Secret Service guy. But lo and behold, um, we got into this wonderful section. And I saw this beautiful white woman who had this black daughter. And I said, oh my God, this woman, she's living the dream. Let me help this woman. So I go to help this woman, and lo and behold, it's her daughter, Alicia Keys. So I ended up spending the entire day with Alicia Keys, me and my brother, Alicia Keys and her mom, and she was singing that night at the neighborhood ball. But because everybody kept coming around us because she was so famous, the Secret Service moved us right up front, so we're right at the end of the stage. We're so close that you can't see the monitors. All you can see is uh, Barack Obama there, but I mean, what an incredible moment. And unfortunately, they sat us in the uh, 
Bush sex, and Alicia Keys is like, there's no diversity over here. <laughs> <laughs> so when Bush came out, everybody in our section was like, yay! But you know, anyway, it was great. Yeah, was We're going to hear more about it later. This is Don Zelay Abernathy. For segment number one, get your balance out. This is the interview section. We're going to be the eight finalists right now in interview. Are we ready for our first finalist? Yes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here she is. Oh, he is. Please come out here. Yes, how are you? What is your name? My name is Margaret Eppenport. Where are you from, Margaret? I'm from Bath. We like to be clean there. That's in England, correct? Exactly. Can't you tell? Yes. <laughs> what do you do out there in Bath? Well, I am a professional uh, tea taster. <laughs> Is it tea time? Tea time yeah, time? it was. It was before. Tea time time. Yes. Oh, okay. So you're a tea taster for who? For certain, certain companies? Well, I, I'm, I'm commissioned by the government. So I, I try all kinds of tea. Uh, Tetley tea, Twinnings, Darjeeling. Beautiful. Oh, hello, darling. Yes. So tell me, what brought you to America? Why are you in this pageant? Well, I, I do want to spread the joy of tea to all you coffee drinkers. <laughs> Starbucks. Coffee bean. Pete's. We don't drink coffee in England. We drink tea. Because it's civilized. Yes. Civilized stuff. So in your personal life, are you married? Do you have a boyfriend? Oh, darling, I'm just dreadfully embarrassed to discuss this on stage. <laughs> I did have a, a terrible breakup recently. With? Robbie. What happened? He was my Bobby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he just, it didn't work out. I caught him drinking a cup of coffee. Wow, <laughs> wow, not a woman, but a cup of coffee. A cup of coffee, and I, I couldn't absolutely be seen with a coffee drinker, absolutely not. What would it mean to you to win Miss African American Princess? It would mean the world to me. It would mean that every American, every African American, would be joining the ranks with me in tea drinking heaven. Tea time, is it tea time, darling? No, tea tomorrow time. at four, tomorrow at four, oh, yes. Stand over here for a second. One of the judges, one judge asked one question of Margaret. Anyone? Yes, Deborah? I, 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 yes. I, I don't know where to, I, I, which train up my ass. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is, yes. Uh, yes. Right now? Yes. I have a question. Is your mic on? Yeah. Um, I'm black, I don't need one. <laughs> it helps for the camera. Not but... really, you should see me in a movie theater. There you go. What made you decide to join Miss African American? Yes, good Miss question. Miss good question. Well, I'm black. And I, I think if I became Miss African American, I would be able to find love here. Love here in America. Beautiful. We hope that comes true for her. Margaret, thank you very much. Margaret Winterborn. Thank you, Margaret. Thank you, Margaret.